Let's see. You have no depth. Yeah, we could just do this. But it's 51. It's it would probably it would be easier just to do. That's 56. 51. I'll do one of these clicks. There we go. So you're happy again. There we go. That's what we want. And he is pissed again. You bastard. Uh, we'll get him back. Eventually. Uh, we're making good money right now. And speaking of that. I think we might have to loan to get into this technology. Because we're quite behind on stuff. Not what we want. Uh, the reputation is tarnished. We either lose a stability or lose a hundred diplo. Uh, ruthless. Infertile. Unjust. This guy sucks. Uh, I think we might as well just try to trigger the War of the Roses. I don't want to execute someone for this because gaining stability is over there. It's way more expensive. Should get rid of him. Just core all of it. Uh, the overextension will help with the liberty desire of my subjects. Yeah. Let's kill the heir and make sure that the king dies. Get the War of the Roses, get a better leader, go into Norway and have some fun over there. I think we can safely get... There we go. Looming Disaster. The War of the Roses will go up by 5 each month. So in... In a while we'll get this. Uh, raising taxes. Or oh, manpower. Where is this? Let's take a look. Grain. Land force limit 050. That's a lot of manpower. I like that. So the Liberty Desire will go away. No problems there. It's a bloody expensive army. So how is the unrest? Currently, there is none. So we can actually lower army maintenance for a bit. Get more money. Okay, let's take a look what this does. Uh, some rebel factions are climbing. And the overextension will get my 1.44 corruption out. Fort maintenance is probably still on. Can we mothball anything else? No, it's just my own capital. No, also that is not being maintained. Here's training trips. Uh, as long as the coring will be done, it's fine. Uh, we'll wait for the War of the Roses. So we'll give it some time, we'll save upon cash, and we'll embrace the institution. Let's take a look how far it actually is. Uh, Scotland already has a bit. It's getting in there as well. 84... Let's take a look. We gain money. We'll lose local autonomy in Cork. Hmm. Remove your mercenary companies. You aren't going to be in war for a while anyways. I kind of think that if I remove my mercenary companies. Um, I will have a lot. A lot of liberty desire. Because I would have to train up 18 troops to be close at force limit. 
I'd rather not do that. If I may be honest here. Okay, before we take that click, can we do this? Okay, so currently it's 41, so they will gain. The burgers will lose some. But I kind of feel that we want to just... Let's see, the clarity will gain the most. Uh, let's take that hit. We took the land anyway, so that's good. Uh, we do want to make sure that we get those points gone. Uh, but, and also, I want to war. I, I definitely want to go to war with Norway. Um, over these territories. Uh, once we get those claims. Uh, Novgorod. Wow, Novgorod got his ass kicked by Denmark. Well, that won't last. And we'll take one of these to be the war goal. He will climb up by himself. That will be fine. War of the Roses, 30%. Overextension will kill this. And also, with the War of the Roses, I kind of don't want my mercenaries out. And these are not really building up. Well, they are a bit. Some of them, the Lollard heretics, are building up. So you're building up with those two. Do we want to? I think we should start building up. I don't think I can build up with you. No, we need to go core, do this in Denmark. Build up against Denmark. Let's get Burgundy back. Burgundy is not a threat anymore. If I were him, I would... Yeah, he's, he's part of the HRE now. Smart decision. Otherwise, friends would be all over him. Also, the Burgundy succession is... Um, he's 4, 23. And I don't think it will happen now, but eventually it will. Apparently, he has, no, uh, he has rivals, but no enemies. Hmm... We will extend the Monopoly twice. And we'll go into Trade. Let's get Leinster. Upgrade you. Upgrade you. Uh, well, we need one more. One more. And that's most likely going to be the one in Cork. 200 is what I need. Okay, so a debate. Let's take a look. The Burgers would gain 20 loyalty, but we don't care about that. The stability. The stability is the best. Damn. Yearly legitimacy will increase it, though. Not too interesting. But I like the stability, though. Bribing an MP for how much? 13. I'll do that. I kind of don't want to lose this. Uh, army tradition. Mercantilism. Let's get that one, and there we go, gain another stability. It will slow down the War of the Roses, it's 50% right now. So we do want to change that around 80, so we build up on troops again. Uh, the corruption is... Well, it's not going up, it's not going down. How's the coring going? Slowly, of course. Okay, let's speed up. We can take things slow. I don't want to adopt him. No. Gain five. Co gain five. Why not? Looming disaster, 60%. Disloyalty. Yeah, that would change soon. Okay, let's call you back. What's this? So, we're going to skill to or we gain 50 admin. Uh, in all honesty, give me the admin. Eventually, we'll be able to embrace. I should have embraced, actually, instead of... I upgraded that. Hmm. Well, one more and I can get some of these points. But the Age of Reformation... When is that? Can I see? No. Cannot see. Papals. Get another click in that. Still got one. Damn. Damn, dude. Give me another bloody cardinal. Still got one. Man, Burgundy just hates me. 
Okay, 70%. Uh, let's just be safe on this. Let's increase. Before this actually happens. Also, let's uh, improve. With subjects. And let's do outrage countries. Ninety percent. Slowly, we're slowing down. I will do the War of the Roses, and then it's definitely over for me for today. Uh, I will be streaming again. If you're watching this, I will be streaming again um, tonight because I'm skipping the night. So yeah, <laughs> if you're enjoying your time here, then um, join me tonight in about fourteen hours. So. Lancaster or ah uh, well oh damn there's two stab hit man I hate it. Well, let's take that by the bit. Uh, we do need a leader. Uh, oh, there's one thing that I need to do. Um, let's do uh, uh, it like this. Where is the bloody button? I can never find it when I need it. Probably in here. Let's take a look. So that's downloading. Let's open that thing up. So, top of my list. Delogen. No, actually, Wenak. Wenak is a subscriber of mine, actually. Even though it was gifted to him. And he's here, so we might as well use him. Go with Wenak. Uh, we'll remove this part in there. Because that's how I know him. Give him a capital W. There we go. And make sure we lower that one. There we go. You are... At least you got two siege pips. Uh, but you got some uh, some skills, brother. You got some skills. So Wenak is going in to fight the English pretenders. And we'll get a negative one. In the shock phase, we do the most damage for now. Since he has four pips in the shock. Now, we did win that. Yeah, let's go deal with them. So, after this war, we'll, um, we'll definitely... Let's find the pretender. I think the pretender died. Hopefully, this war was the shortest I've ever done. A royal marriage from Castile. We get a 2 4 0 and the personal union upon monarch's death. Really? Wow. Seriously? If my monarch dies... I might be... be oh damn, no. Seriously, I don't want that. I don't want him to die. Oh man, that scares the living shit out of me, I'll be honest here. Let's go deal with him. The fort is down, so it's just a normal province. Can I bloody embrace this already? I will probably loan up. Because it's going out of, out of control, look at this. 10, 10, 10. I'm getting behind and stuff. Let's embrace. Let's see. Mm. We'll have to wait for the rest as well. Truce with Scotland is over. French intervention. How dare they? Seven pretenders. Off with the head. Thirteen pretenders. More pretenders. 
Wow, they really like the pretenders for, the, for today. Let's go send you over there. Well, you go deal with them. Stack wipe them. And there's the air. So no longer will we have the, uh, the unrest. Let's go deal with that seven. Uh, my mercenaries are going over there. I don't want to lose too many of my own troops. It's already sad that I've lost so many of them. For the Catholic faith, apparently. Stop. Come on, can we wipe him before he gets there? Yeah, we did. So now we give you... Come on now. Let's go there. I don't want you to be a march, dude. Stop asking. You have loans. Oh shit. Pay one back. Yeah, we'll take these back. And... Now we can give you the ruler. Right? Oh no, it's because of this. Come on, give us the leader. Let's go deal with him. While you go deal with that. Let's see. What do we want to do? National unrest? No. National tax modifier? No. We lose a shit ton of manpower and legitimacy. I'll take the national tax hit. Ah. <sighs> And this is probably the pretender. Go over there. Wipe him. Go to speed 4. So this should end the War of the Roses. And we're almost back at manpower. Uh, we'll get a stability back if the uh, War of the Roses is done. Let's see, we're not gaining anything. Do we still pay for the rooting out of corruption? I want that to go away. The overextension will get it once those cores are done at 92. Quite surprised that no rebels, no other rebels. There we go. Uh, stability. We got the War of the Roses completed. So, we need to build up again. Uh, we're actually making good money again. Let's get you to York. Let's go put you on the idling. And we will start preparations for a war with Norway. In tonight's stream, of course, because... I think I've been streamed for, uh, oh, actually, let's do 10 more minutes, so I get a whopping 3 hours. The Rise of a Dynasty. Uh, we will get the additional stat plus the King Henry in the future. There we go. We'll get better points now. So, 11, 9, and, oh, we can actually start gaining up. That's uh, Royal Marriage from Gastony, let's accept that. Uh, we can actually improve relations with you. I don't think it's too interesting. Let's get you back. Did the... No, that is not happening yet. Well, we're gaining money, which is most important. So, we want to stay clear of Denmark for as long as possible. Because I don't think we have the fleet to deal with it. But... I think we should... Go ahead and have that war. An advisor just uh, died, apparently. Trade efficiency. Why not? Let's take that. It's not too expensive. Anything else here? So the War of the Roses will get us yearly legitimacy, as well as an aggression expansion impact negative 10 for 15 years. So going ahead with Norway, that would be quite nice. So, let us take the additional points. How far are we from taking another attack? Quite close. And we got a bunch of cores now. 
uh, on Norway, some of the islands. And this is going to be the war goal, the highlands of Britain. I think that would be the best to go with. Let's go pull you back. Don't need you anymore. So, how's my diplomatic relations? It is climbing, it is going up, that's good. If I go and declare upon you... Let's wait until the diplomat's back. Ah, dude. I know you like it over there, but get back. Oh, of course, I... Seriously? Get your ass back! Ah, I hate it when they don't listen. You don't have a diplomat to send. Then who the hell is he? What the hell is going on here? Whatever. Mm -hmm. He'll probably go over here. It'll be tough on my uh, on my vessel. But that's fine. And this is going to be... Orclay is going to be the goal. Easy to obtain. We'll drop those troops over here. Get some territory. And... Yes, we'll have to deal with Denmark. So, he is in debt. And he is just a distance of where he's not interested. Okay, we'll start this war and we'll continue it tonight. But I am going to start this war. There we go. Let's turn off the forts. I actually don't need it. Don't, not right now. I'm kind of hoping that he is not going to land the strip. So you go over there. You unmove ball and go to Norfolk. Now Friesland is going to be somewhat annoying. Are you bloody kidding me? Henry died? Oh, you gotta be kidding me, dude. A 153 for a 542. Oh, damn you. A 542, actually. He is the new one. He ain't bad. He's weak on military, though. He has a strong claim, which I like. Okay, let's make sure that you get in there. Austria, once again, is... The, the one that has been ruling the states. So, Scotland is right now disloyal. We'll move the mercenaries over there. We'll keep this guy in here. For now. Are you kidding me? Seventy-five percent or fifty percent chance. No, you fuckers. Yeah, we'll get another heir, but still, I'll no. If my ruler dies, I'm in the same bloody position in the, if I was. It is that we're making money, but we'll get another loan. Says, yeah, that's definitely a sad daily. I'm a sad panda right now. Are you ready to take this fight? Well, he doesn't have a... Um, he doesn't have troops on there. But I do want to make sure that they are in keen health. Like my transports, they will definitely join in this fight. We'll take this as a slow war. Don't have to rush it. Get our troops in there. Actually, they are now being blockaded. It's sad. But we'll have to take this fight once they're at 100%. It will take a bit of time, but that's fine. Next tick. Let's see. That's 55. That's really slow. Why are you so pissed, dude? Mm. 
Let's improve. We can improve for how much? Usually if you hovered over this you could actually see, but apparently all of my tooltips are decided not to work. Still the trade league. And we got a 4-3-2. My wife and my ruler are not sitting still. Recall the diplomat. We can state uh, some parts up. But we could also just wait. Autonomy would be decreasing. And there's a rebel uprising from the Lorotic Hell. Uh, why do you keep doing this to me, game? Don't need that, go away. So, it's a bunch of transports. Don't think transports aren't dangerous. 70%. Let's go to 100. And we'll get the war goal. Uh, lose this ability or gain war exhaust. Traitor in parliament. I don't want to lose the stab though. Okay, we got the war goal. So, right now, it's time that we take this on. 75%. Let's uh, speed up a tiny bit. Let's go pull you back. Actually, we'll get the transports over there. And we'll move those guys over there and then the other armies as well. We'll have to get rid of those, uh, those fleets. Can I bait them? Let's see. There we go. That's one. It's not good on my transports. I'll tell you that. And now you go reinforce that. There we go. Morale is breaking like crazy. We got six heavies and we got a buttload of lights. If you keep rolling, I would be really appreciating it. Captured none, but we sunk three lights. So, with that done, let's see how many transports we. There's 15 over here. And we got additional two. So it will be 17. It's almost enough to land my mercenaries. Uh, we'll get more. Get over there. I kind of want to wait by getting a ruler before. Let's see. It's those, two. those two would be quite nice. And the military would be uh, very, very welcome as well. As for this one, we'll hold off for now. But I'm kind of considering either going exploration again. And then it's either going to be humanist or religion. We'll see. Uh, but that's uh, stuff that we will decide tonight. Uh, right now, we are going to give this fella the hunt fleet in the North Atlantic Orders. And once we get the military tech, I will uh, help those. As for my troops over here, since these are my rebel, or actually my uh, mercs, I can't use them. So let's get Wenick over there. And we're going to be landing. Landing these men. There. And we'll keep landing while we build a boar score. We'll take all of that. We'll be fine. By the time we peace out, we'll probably have another military tech going, which is great. There we go. Keep doing that. I'll keep them grouped together right now. And it would be safe for my men if I did. Uh, the spy network with uh, Denmark has been really nice. Uh, Brittany didn't lose anything. They're allied with Burgundy, which is nothing. So once this truce comes up, we'll uh, we'll take him. Yeah, talks from experience, indeed. 
I messed that up quite a bit. Castile is fine. Portugal is still allied. Mm, 